Hello everyone, welcome to Infigyan. In this video, we are going to solve one quartic equation. As you can see, it is x, x plus 1, x plus 3, x plus 4 is equal to 180. This kind of equation we have already seen. And see what is important, that is one trick. Trick is, you can see x, x plus 1, x plus 3, x plus 4. So, if you consider all the four numbers, 0, 1, 3, 4, 2 is missing in between. So that 2, that 2 I will consider as a substitution. Means x plus 2 I will consider equal to t. See, one number line is there. If suppose this point is origin. Okay, so x, you can consider like x. x plus 1, so this is 1, 3, 4. If I will presume, x plus 2 point in between. See, it is in between. That will be somewhere here. This is our consideration. So, what ultimately we are transferring or we, we are shifting? This is x plus a. So, 1 would be x minus a. If this is x plus b, then 0 will be at x minus b. So, what exactly we are doing here? transforming it is the difference of a square formula formation of difference of a square formula so that is why we considered substitution x plus 2 is equal to t now let's say start if x plus 2 is equal to t then x will be t minus 2 x plus 1 would be t minus 1 x plus 3 would be what I will write t plus 1 and last term is last bracket is x plus 4 so that will value will be equal to t plus 2 put all the values respectively so x will be let me write t minus 2 second bracket x plus 1 so t minus 1 third bracket is x plus 3 so t plus 1 and last bracket is x plus 4 so t plus 2 is equal to 180. Now if you see the two brackets, so it will form actually the difference of a square formula. What is that? Formula is a plus b times a minus b. Anytime we can write this as a square minus b square. So this bracket will come out t square minus 4 a square means t square minus 2 square so t square minus 4 and this will give us t square minus 1 okay so let me write t square minus 1 times t square minus 4 is equal to 180 now what i will do i will just open the bracket open this bracket so t square, let me write one more time, t square minus 1, t square minus 4 is equal to 180. t power 4 minus 4 t square minus 1 t square. So minus 5 t square plus 4. Let us take 180 towards left, equal to 0. t power 4 minus 5 t square minus 176 is equal to 0. Now find out factorize, factorization or use quadratic formula also. So I can see 176 as 16 into 11. 16 10 ja 160 and 16 1 ja 16. So 176 it is obviously it is clearly visible. So I can see 16 minus 11 is 5. So difference is your middle term and product is 176. So I will write t power 4. This minus 5 t square I will write minus 16 t square plus 11 t square. Minus 176 is equal to 0. Let me take t square common. t square minus 16. 11 common. t square minus 16. 
is equal to 0, t square minus 16, t square plus 11. By factorization, we solve the factors. So, t square will be equal to 16. This will hold true. This bracket equal to 0, first bracket. And if I will take the second bracket equal to 0, then it will give us complex solution. Negative number, if a square of any number is negative number, so complex solution. So, we will get complex solution. Now, come to t square is equal to 16. That means t is equal to plus minus 4. So, this is our result actually. Let me put in box t is equal to plus minus 4. Two roots are complex or imaginary. Two solution basically are complex imaginary and two are real. That is plus minus 4. Let me write here t is equal to plus minus 4. Now what we substituted that was x plus 2 is equal to t. Now we have to find the value of x. So let me consider t equal to plus 4 and minus 4. So one time I will write x plus 2 is equal to 4 and second time I will write x plus 2 is equal to minus 4. So x will be equal to 4 minus 2, 2 and x will be equal to minus 4 minus 2, minus 6. Let's check. Okay, I am checking for x equal to 2. So, x, x plus 1, so 2, 3, 2 plus 3, 5, left hand side, 2 plus 4, 6. Check whether it is coming out 180. So, 2 times 3 is 6, 6 times 5 is 30, 30 times 6 is 180. Yes, it is true. Now come to x is equal to minus 6. So minus 6 in bracket, minus 6 plus 1, minus 5, minus 6 plus 3, minus 3, minus 6 plus 4, minus 2. Minus times minus times minus times minus even numbered, positive answer. 6, 5, 3, 2. Earlier we were doing the same. So obviously 180. That means two real roots are a 2 and negative 6 solution. x is equal to 2 and negative 6. And 2 are imaginary. So if t is complex or imaginary, then x will be obviously complex and imaginary. So I am only can calculated here the real solution. Now practice problem. x, x plus 1, x plus 2, x plus 3 is equal to 120. You will be thinking 0, 1, 2, 3, no term is missing, how I will consider? So that is why it is for you. Same logic you, you have to consider, it is 0, you can think like x, x plus 1, x plus 2, x plus 3. So this we have to consider for substitution and that point would be the midpoint of 1 and 2. So, x plus half. Rest you will solve. I hope you like this video. Thank you so much for watching. Please do subscribe.